I'm going to be showing you one of my all-time favorite card tricks. Uh, this is something I do if somebody, you know, asks me to show them a trick. This is usually the one I'm going to resort to just because uh, the end effect is really cool. So you'll see what I'm talking about. So let's say the spectator could shuffle up the deck. They could pick any card they want to. It is a completely random choice. In this case, we have the nine of spades. So I'm going to go ahead. I'll put my signature on it. It won't really make much of a difference, but I just want to show you guys that I'm not duplicating um, this card here. So put that here. And then from here, what we can do is, let's say, we just try off this, this signature a little bit. You put this into the middle, and you get this card mixed up into the deck. And let's say we give the deck a cut as well. So the card's getting mixed up. It's lost somewhere, somewhere in the middle. And over here, as you guys can see, the box is completely empty. So let's say we put the cards into the box, we give the box a shut. This way I cannot touch them whatsoever. So um, at this point, if I was doing this live, I would put the cards into my pocket, but you guys can't see that off screen. So I have a pillowcase here, and as you can see, there's nothing in here. I promise you I'm not doing anything like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna stick this shut deck inside the pillowcase, and hopefully within two seconds, I should be able to grab out your card from the deck, and from the box is still gonna be shut. So if you go ahead and flip over your card, it's going to be the nine of spades. So this is a trick guys, hope you guys like it. And if you want to do it, don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. All right, so here's how you guys can do the trick. So um, I'm also gonna be doing a deck giveaway with this trick. So if you want to win this card and also um, a packet or a deck of cards, make sure to go ahead, like the video, comment down um, anything. Let's say maybe the suggestion you have for my channel and I'll go through and pick one of you guys and then it's how you can win this card. So uh, for the actual tutorial part, um, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is have the spectator freely choose a card from the deck. So it can be any one. Let's say they were to pick uh, this card and they were to sign it. And the only reason I signed it in my video uh, was because I didn't want you guys thinking I had duplicate cards or something. So you don't really have to have the card signed, but let's say you do. Um, all you have to do is control this card back to the top. So if you were to stick it into the middle and then do a double undercut, moving their card back to the top. Essentially, you're just telling the spectator you're mixing up the cards, losing their card in the deck, but in reality, this one is going on top. And then you can do a ripple shuffle or something just to make sure it looks like it's getting mixed up, but here it is, still on top. And at this point, what you wanna do is show the spectators that the box is empty and also that your pocket is empty. So you can do this trick by putting your hands in your pocket and reversing the pockets. Uh, that way, the spectator sees there's nothing in there. And the trick is basically you're putting the cards inside the box, making sure they're flat, and all you have to do at this point is just push in and squeeze the card box. And as you can see, the top card is gonna bow out. And as it bows out, you see this little curve, you close these flaps up and you stick the top of the box before that. This way the card is technically outside of the case so from here you have the cards like this and you can kind of just display the box to the spectators kind of nonchalantly saying look the box is closed and they're really not going to think anything too much of it because they can't really see it if you're flashing in like this and from here what you do is you stick the box you put this directly inside your pocket and in one swift motion it should pretty much look like this let's say off screen i'm putting the box inside my pocket so the spectator you're putting the box inside your pocket and in one swift motion your hand follows. Let's go ahead and pretend this is going to be my, po my pocket. So your hand's going down by your side. You're putting the box in. You come out empty handed and within two seconds, you're going to be able to grip that card that's inside your pocket and pull it out in like half a second and you push the deck back out and you show them that the box is still closed. So this trick is really cool. Like I said, it has a really good effect just because you are only using, um, you know, real ordinary objects. These aren't gimmicks at all. So you can do this with a borrowed deck. Uh, so one more time, the card is gonna be inside here, just like that, inside the box. This goes inside your pocket. This goes right into your side. If you come out empty-handed under the cover, you should be able to quickly grab that card, show it to the spectator, and show them the box is still closed. So this is the trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to participate in the deck giveaway if you are interested in doing that. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys like the video, and as always, Alright guys, today I'm going to be giving a shout out to the Ministry of Magic uh, channel. They've been 
you guys probably see in their comments down below and uh, also quick thing this is probably going to be my last upload just for a little bit because um, you know there's a hurricane coming through and I do live in Florida so I'm probably gonna be out of power for a while and it's probably gonna you know take me a second to get you know back into the swing of things but I just want to let you guys know this is going to be my last my last video for a while because I don't know when I'm gonna get internet after tonight so anyways make sure to check out the Ministry of Magic's channel uh, they're really really good and I would highly advise you to stick around and watch the video here the trick really did surprise me as well so uh, here is the video guys All right, so this is the Ministry of Magic, and it is my honor to do a collab with Hester23 Bear CH. He's probably one of the most famous magicians on YouTube, so thank you, Hester. And this is my favorite opener trick because it just grabs all the attention from the audience right away. So here's what the trick looks like. I'm gonna uh, just get around half of the pack, it does not really matter, and I'll just use these cards. And right now, I'll give these cards a bit of a mix-up, so they're in random order. I'll place them on top, place them on bottom, place some on top, and place some on bottom. And the spectator could do this as well, he can shuffle the pack, but just to make it completely random, some cards go on top, some cards go on bottom, and I'll give the deck one, one more cut. Actually, I'll just keep cutting it until the spectator is satisfied, and if the spectator won, he can cut it himself, he can just mix these cards up a bit, and let's say spectator are, is satisfied right now. So, I'll just give the deck a one last cut to make sure everything is random. Now, I'll deal down 9 cards. So, just like that, 9 cards in any random order. And the spectator can either say no or yes as I go through these cards. So, let's say spectator says no for first one. He said no again for the second one. He said yes for the third one. So, I'll take the third card face up. He said yes again. He said no. He said no. He said yes. He said yes. And he said no. Okay, and these two cards, I'll just throw them out of here, and let's look at these cards. The 5 and a 4, no match. A 6 and a 5, no match. A 9 and a 6, no match. A 10 and a 9, no match. A 3 and a 10. Absolutely nothing between those cards, no connection absolutely whatsoever. But, you could have said yes anytime, you shuffle the cards, you could have cut the cards. But look, the card you say yes to. The red eight turns to the black eight. The black ace, the red ace. The black two, ah, I need a mat. A red two. And finally, the red seven, the black seven. The spectator could have shuffled, spectator could have cut, said yes anytime, said no anytime, but they actually found a perfect match four times. So that is the trick, and here is the tutorial for the trick. So, here is the tutorial for the trick, so later I'll teach you guys how to shuffle the pack in a way to make this trick work, how to do the yes or no thing, and how to let the spectator shuffle the pack. So before I start, um, here's the setup. So this is gonna be your deck, and as I said, this is my favorite opener trick, so this is probably not gonna be a trick I end with or go in the middle because I usually have the setup on top. And so the setup is black, ace to 10, and the red ace to 10. You can do it in one suit, so you can say ace to 10 in all clubs and ace to 10 in all hearts. But because um, I just varied it a bit, so it makes it look more random. So spades, club, um, diamond, heart, diamond, diamond, heart. It doesn't really matter as long as you have ace to 10. And remember, if you put the, um, you have to make it in this specific order, or you can reverse both piles. So 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and this pile has to be in that order as well. So, but this is the pile I like to have it, and usually when I start the trick, I just put this on top, and I look through the pile just randomly, and I catch a break, and I just break it off, and my trick is good to go. So you're only gonna use the top 20 cards, your ace to king, I mean ace to 10 from both colors. So now, you'll give the deck a shuffle, but this is very important, because if you don't shuffle correctly, you know, the whole trick is gonna be messed up. So this is how you do the shuffle. You're gonna bring some cards over here. You're gonna use your um, pinky to push off some cards from the bottom, put it on top. Push, use your thumb to push up some cards from the top, put it on bottom. Do it again, pinky, some cards off the bottom, put it on top. Do the same until you run out of cards. 
and then you can do it once again if the spectator looks suspicious. So take some cards, use your pinky, break off some card, put on top, some cards on bottom, some cards on top, some cards on bottom, some cards on top, some cards on bottom. I'll go over this one more time just to make sure you understand it. Take some the top card is so first you're gonna break the top card. So this is just gonna be over here. Then use your pinky to push off some bottom card, put it on top, push off some top card, put it on bottom, push off some bottom card, put it on top of the pile, do the same until all the cards are done. So basically what you have right now is you're not gonna have a two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Eight two three four five six seven eight nine ten. But you're gonna have this. You're gonna have the ace to ten in the middle, and the red ace is gonna be like eight two three four five six seven eight nine nine ten. So that's okay. And you can give the deck a few cuts. Remember, the spectator should not riffle shuffle, so you can just ask the spectator to cut the cards anywhere. You can do a Charlie or you can do a Revolution. It does not really matter. And now the deck is not mixed up more. It's just still this, but this time it's ace two three four and five six seven eight nine ten is on this side so the size doesn't matter it's just make sure you have the order correct so now it does since it doesn't matter you're just gonna deal down nine cards and this part you could honestly let, let the spectator do because some spectator they question if you have some like advanced slide of hand hogwarts thing imagings so now i'm going to tell you guys how to do this part so if the spectator say no, you're basically like, oh sir, just deal the top card down. If he says yes, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna do a wrist kill, meaning turn your wrist. And as you're doing this, you're gonna use your thumb to push it down. So as you're doing it, push it down. You're not gonna take take this card and put it up. Instead, when you push it down, you're gonna take this card. So I'll do it in the exposed view, okay? So take the second to top card. And make sure you slide this card down so you can take the second to top card up. So let's say spectator say no, just take the top card, put it face down. Spectator say yes. Remember, use your thumb, push up the push down the top card, use your do a wrist kill, then take the second from top, deal it down, say yes, let's say he say yes again, say no, say no. And the final two cards they can just go anywhere, it does not really matter. And you're just gonna reveal first that the ones he said no to, there's absolutely no connection between them, and the ones he said yes to. He actually found the perfect soulmates, I mean, the same number to each and every one of them. So that is the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys um, comment something down below. And uh, thank you.